All right, hey guys. Um, tonight I'm gonna be showing you how to do a, or how to clean your longboard wheels. I'm only gonna be cleaning one since I already cleaned all the other three. But if you could tell which one's dirty right now, it'd be this one over here. It's a lot darker than the other three. Um, what you're gonna need to do this is four things. You're gonna need some multi-surface Windex, some WD-40 couple paper towels and whatever you can use to unscrew this little guy right here to get your wheel off um, alright so first things first you're gonna wanna take your wheel off just by getting it up putting whatever you want to use to get off start screwing that screw that until it can come off take it off and boom your wheel will come off so once you have your wheel off you're gonna set that down your longboard is pretty much done right now set that to the side so now you got this wheel and there's gonna be a little ring on the outside of the bearing you can just set that to the side right now but don't lose that um what you're gonna do with your wheel now is you're gonna want to clean the bearings um this side is super dirty but obviously this side is still pretty clean so to do this hold on I gotta set this down I don't have a stand for my phone to do this what you're gonna do you want to take one of your paper towels and fold that up a little bit take your Windex and just squirt not too much but just a little bit out onto there once you do that, you're going to take it and really just get it in. Clean out the entire outside of the bearing. You'll get a lot of dirt off that. And just do that until your bearing is pretty well cleaned. Um, the other side now. On these, it's way easier to do the back side because it's not as caved in. But uh, just want to wipe that down. Do that and take it a good, pretty clean look on that that's good enough for now I suppose on the bearing next you're gonna want to clean the actual wheel which you will also be using the Windex for so you just I mean you can use the same paper towel but make sure you're not using a new clean side spray some Windex on it once you do that see if I could do this with my phone here all right once you do that you want to take your wheel and take your paper towel with Windex on it and you're gonna want to just pretty much rub down the wheel with that Windex as you can see it's gathering quite a bit of dirt so just rub that down and when you pretty much need a new spot fold over your paper towel with a new one spray that down with Windex and then just keep rubbing that wheel around, scrubbing it, doing everything to get all that gunk and dirt and bird poop and whatever's on your wheel off of there. So yeah, just like that. Um, next, you're going to want to clean the inside of here, and the inside all around here. So to do that, same as you did on the outside, just get more paper towel, spray that down, with your multi-purpose Windex, and just rub it around the inside almost like you do with the bearings but around the outside and that collected a good amount of dirt so it's pretty it's cleaner than it started out I could say that for sure um, so once you get your wheel pretty much totally cleansed for the most part next you're gonna want to get some new paper towel Lay it down, make sure you don't lose that little ring from your bearing. Um, lay it down, maybe fold it once so that you don't get WD-40 40 leakage on your nice carpet. Or if you're doing this in your garage, I guess it doesn't really matter. But So you're going to want to set the wheel just right on there so that anything that goes through leaks. And I like to use the WD-40 can that has the straw on it. That way it really lets you get into the bearing. So what I like to do is go up to the bearing with the straw of WD-40, 
put that in there and you're just gonna coat it let it all drip down so that it goes onto the paper down here and then um what that'll do is coat the inside of your bearing with oil slash grease whatever you want to call WD-40 and uh that'll help it spin better and get you more speed and all that good stuff so you're gonna want to do that spray that down squirting around a little bit but that's fine all right so once you get it in there can't really see it but you get the point it's gonna foam up a little bit and you're gonna have some nice seepage onto your paper towel so once that's done you're pretty much on the last step now and all that is is oops, is this guy right here where you put your wheel on you're gonna wipe that down all right so you get all the gunk off that set your wheel aside paper towel under this now you're just gonna want to go over the top of it with WD-40 and what that'll do is just get that covered too try not to go over the part where the screw goes on or else your screw will just be slippery it won't hold super well as it would but I don't know I feel that it doesn't hold as well but some people may disagree so you're just gonna want to spray down that top with your WD-40 let it drip off a little bit give it some time so as you can see that is in the process of drying right now it's dripping alright and then don't try not to get too much on your actual truck as I just did because I'm not good at this shit but anyways take your wheel now that should have a good amount of WD-40 in it just coating it stick that back on and then you're gonna bring where did it go see I washed, lost the little ring um there it is take your little ring that you got from the outside of your bearing let's flip this back up really quick alright so you're gonna take that now just gonna put that little ring on the actual little screw if I can get it on there alright so now that's down on the bearing take your bolt screw that back on then you're just gonna take your whatever you used to get your wheel off you're gonna take that get it back on screw that in you wanna screw it in tight enough so that it doesn't like wobble but then again you don't want it affecting your wheels speed so maybe like I just did a little bit too tight loosen it up a little bit a little bit of wobble room and it spins it'll spin like this for about two to three minutes without touching it so that is how to clean your wheels and make them spin faster Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.